Hey guys, my name is Maddie and you're watching AFI Explains, the series where we break down just about everything you need to know about the fragrance in the industry. In today's episode, let's take a moment to go over diffusing air fresheners. What are they? How do they work? And why have they become so popular in recent years? Diffusing air fresheners are products designed with the purpose of making a room smell better through the evaporation of pleasant smelling liquids. Fragrance can be diffused naturally or through the use of a heating mechanism. What makes these type of air fresheners so popular is that little to no action is required on the consumer's behalf to effectively fragrance a big space or small space. Once the diffuser has been opened or turned on, fragrance starts to evaporate and fill the area. No spraying or constant refreshing required. Diffusers work by evaporating fragrance molecules into the atmosphere steadily throughout their usage time. This evaporation is usually accelerated through the use of solvents that diffuse faster than the fragrance on its own and or a heat source. Reed diffusers are an example of a diffusing air freshener that does not require the use of a heat source. The fragrance oil is blended with a solvent such as Dalinol DPMA that helps to carry the fragrance molecules more quickly throughout the air. This mixture is put in a narrow neck glass or ceramic bottle. The diffusion of the liquid is aided by the hollow reeds made of rattan palm wood or special plastic that carries the mixture up and releases the evaporating molecules into the air. Reed diffusers are aesthetically pleasing and easy to use, making them a very popular replacement for standard aerosol or pump air fresheners. Solid gel and bead air fresheners also work by diffusing fragrance into the air. These air fresheners are made of solid materials that hold fragrance and other ingredients like solvents and water. You may recognize these little gel beads originally made to keep flowers hydrated in vases. They absorb liquid and swell into their full size. When placed into a container with a slotted lid, the fragrance within the beads evaporates over time, scenting the space that they occupy. Solid gel air fresheners work in a similar way. They are made of a solid substrate, which is usually a firm jelly-like texture with fragrance oil in it. Some diffusing air fresheners require a heat source to effectively disperse fragrance oil molecules into the atmosphere. Oil diffusers and warmers have a heat source that utilizes either a candle or mechanism to warm fragrance oil within a dish. The heat increases activity of fragrance oil molecules, making them evaporate faster. This accelerated evaporation helps fragrance to smell stronger to the user. Plug-in diffusers also use a heating mechanism to spread fragrance molecules. These little devices are plugged into an outlet that powers a warming surface inside, allowing the fragrance to rise and scent the room. There are also many non-electric versions of these plug-ins that can be clipped onto car vents to improve the smell of one's vehicle. The air from the vent helps release the fragrance into the car. Speaking of cars, this class of cardboard cutouts meant to be hung from the rear view mirror also work by diffusing fragrance into the air. Fragrance oil is pressed into the specialty cardboard that holds the oil without leaking or retaining moisture. The fragrance molecules are then able to evaporate into the car when the air freshener is removed from its packaging. Aesthetically pleasing and easy to use, diffusing air fresheners are a great alternative to many pump or aerosol style sprays. From products as simple as cardboard cutouts to beautifully handcrafted free diffuser bottles, there's a diffuser for just about any customer looking to scent their atmosphere. With the growing popularity and room for innovation with the Reed diffuser market, they're a great product to add to your line of air fresheners. If you want to learn more about diffusers, be sure to check out our DIY playlist for in-depth instructions on how to make your own. With that, thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of AFI Explains. And if you want to see more content just like this, support our channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. Become a member of our notification squad and click the bell icon as well as you'll never miss an update from AFI. I'm Maddie and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!